Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today's video is going to be a vlog. So I thought I'd just jump straight into the action. So the first thing I'm going to be doing this morning is pooping the fields. So all of our fields get poo picked every single morning, first thing in the morning. And the reason for this is that as we sort of get into summer and as it gets warmer, um, obviously the amount of flies increases. So we find if we poo pick first thing in the morning, it helps reduce the amount of flies we have. And obviously we poo pick daily to reduce any worm burden or anything like that. So normally my mum would do this job and I'd muck out the stables, but we swapped for a little bit because we both kind of got bored of doing the same thing. So I just go ahead, grab my barrow and my fork and head out into the fields to poo pick all of the horses. Okay, so it's a bit later on now and I was just going to go and bring Caramel up and work her um, but then I went to go and get the tack room keys to get her bridle and everything and my mum has gone to the local equestrian store and taken the keys with her so we can't do that right now. So what I am going to do instead is prepare the piggies vegetables. So today they're getting apple and some iceberg lettuce that has kind of seen better days but the pigs won't care so i'm just going to chop up their apples pop them in this little bucket and then we'll take that down for them to eat I don't think they've seen me just yet. You coming, Prim? She's like, it's not food time, what are you doing? Hey, pick. What's that? Okay, I can't get it out because you big fat heads in me.
Prim can have a bit more because she didn't get quite as much. <laughs> there we go. Is that nice? Why have you always got things in your eyes? They're nice. Hey guys, so I have brought Caramel up now and I'm going to give her a groom and lunge her. I've put my fur headband on because it's so windy um, and I have really sensitive ears so if I'm out there without it on, um, what do you think I've got? I'll get earache. Why are you like this? But yeah, I'm going to give Caramel a groom now. I'm also knelt down, she's not like grown or anything. <laughs> but I was trying to get us both in the shot. She really needs a groom because she's been out in the field for the last few days, it's been raining. Why are you like this? You're so naughty. What? Ow. Let's groom you. So this is the current state of the little mud monster. Yep. Why can't you stand still? The little fidget bum. But, yeah, so she needs a good old groom. <laughs> I'm gonna tie you up short.
Okay, so little madam is looking a lot better and a lot more put together now. Put. Even though I did just paint her little toes, and then she's gone and stood and all the fur and all the hay, and yeah, you're just naughty, aren't you, Caramel? So I'm going to get her tacked up and lunge her, because someone's getting quite porky, and we need to deal with this. So more exercise is required. What are you doing? So as Caramel was a very good girl, what did very good girls get Caramel? What is this? Ooh, good girl. I love a little pink nose. Good girl. Should we turn you out now? You had enough? Yeah, let's turn you out. Girl. She's like more treats. See you in a bit. Thank you for being a good girl. You're not getting any more treats. Go away. Bye bye. So I've just popped round back to the house because I've had a very exciting package delivered, and that is from Horse Hoods. So Horse Hoods did a giveaway with me. So as well as sending out um, one of my subscribers a package of goodies which was a saddle pad and some ears they also kindly sent me a few things which was so nice of them so these are gifted I haven't paid for these um, but I have worked with horse hoods so the first thing they sent me I've already taken out because I got too excited and that is this dressage saddle pad so this is their special edition black and rose gold saddle pad um, so it has this gorgeous pink around the edges. It's 
mainly black and then it has the horse hoods um, emblem, logo, whatever you want to call it, embroidered on it. So I'm going to open this up now. How nice is this? Um, and it's got nice attachments. I really, really like this. So I think we're going to pop this on Lucy today. And I honestly don't know what else they've sent me. They mentioned a few things, um, but I don't actually know. Oh, wow. So this is one of their actual horse hoods um, that they have. And it looks like they've sent me a black one. So it actually goes on your horse. And I'm going to be doing um, another video where I feature this. I'm not going to feature this today, but you'll see that coming up very soon. So they've also sent me the matching ears to the saddle pad, so that's really exciting. Um, I don't actually have any pink um, anything, actually, for in terms of saddle pads or anything. I used to have then one. I left it with my old lone pony. Um, so I've got some matching ears to go with the matching saddle pad. They've also sent me their Ultimo riding bag. Again, I'm going to feature this in another video, so you'll see that soon. And then the final thing they have sent me is a matching outfit. So this is their navy rose gold base layer, which looks gorgeous. Um, they sent me this size 8 in a top, and then the extra small in the leggings. Um, I'm hoping the size 8 will be a small 8, because I'm normally about a 6 but we shall see, that looks really nice. I absolutely love the rose gold detailing and it has, I'll take it out of the bag. So that is how pretty it is, a nice navy. I love navy and rose gold, it's such a nice combination. Um, and it has like a mesh back, which is amazing. I just really like that. And then these are the matching leggings got a full matchy matchy set going on here again really nicely packed they have a full seat which is lovely you can just tell they're really well made so this is what these look like they have a mesh panel um, is that a pocket oh yes it's a pocket we love a pocket um, as you know I only wear leggings really that have pockets because I always have my phone on me or my camera or something and what I like about this is you can actually wear a belt with these. So a lot of leggings you can't, but these actually do have um, little belt loops and then one at the back as well. So that's fantastic. Yeah, I really like these. So I'm going to try it all on now and then go around and ride Lucy. So I'll show it you on and then we'll go ride. Okay, so I've tried it on and my gosh, this is so lovely it actually fits really nicely it has a really high like thick waistband which i really like um, i'm trying to stand in the sun so you can see it because obviously navy's not the easiest to film but it's got like your little mesh bits that match up which is just fantastic um it looks like you're wearing a one piece it is really nice yeah i absolutely love it the top, even though I'm normally a six, this fits really well. It's one of those tops that you feel you can breathe in. It's not like other base layers that you kind of feel like you're really like squashed into or the fabric's too thick. This is actually perfect for summer um, because the fabric really isn't too thick. The leggings are really nice. They have like a little concealed pocket. They are just really lovely. And again, they have the full seat which I absolutely love. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with them. So now that I've tried these on for you, I'm going to go and ride Lucy in them and let you know what I think of them being worn for riding. They're super comfy, I can already tell that, so I'm really, really happy. I also like that the neck isn't too high. Um, I don't know if I've got a little neck, but I find with a lot of base layers, they're like up here and it can get a bit like uncomfortable. Um, I don't know if that's just me, I don't know if you guys have found that too, but I really, really like the neckline of this. So yeah, I am very, very impressed with horse hoods. Thank you ever so much for sending me these items. I really do love them um, already, so no doubt you'll be seeing a lot more of them in my videos. 
Okay, so I've brought Lucy in and I have given her a groom, despite the stable stains. We're just going to ignore those and pretend they're not there because if I stain remover now, all the dust from the arena will stick to her. So I'm going to tack her up in a moment. But the weather has taken a mighty turn for the worst. It's actually raining now and the winds have picked up. They're about 20 miles an hour, <laughs> which is fantastic. So... Luckily I'm not a fair weather rider, so we're just going to crack on and get on with it. But yeah, might be an interesting ride, especially after our last ride. Hey Lulu, hello. But yeah, let's get her tacked up in her new gear. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Chasing, leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. And on, we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on, Okay guys, so I've just ridden Lucy and once again it didn't go very well. Um, we're going to get the vet out to her, um, if we can with the current situation, to have a look at her teeth because that is the only thing we can think is causing her some issues because um, she is due a teeth rasping so I don't know if she's got some spurs or what yeah we're just not very happy with how she's going and it's not like lucy at all it's not in her temperament to just be naughty so i mean she might be but we want to rule out all possibilities that there's anything hurting her or anything you know stopping her working at how she should be um so yeah i think we're not going to ride lucy for a bit until the vet's been out or we're going to speak to our vet anyway and see what she says um my mum's going to ride chilly now i don't know if i'm getting on him or not um 
I don't know if she's evading, I don't know if she's actually, there's something wrong with her or what, but yeah, it didn't go well, but we'll see. Um, I'll keep you updated on um, what the vet says and the current situation with Lucy. Good boy, chill. So I also rode Chili and he actually went really, really well today. He was quite forward. He's a good boy. He is. Um, I don't think his allergies are bothering him at the minute, but we've had a lot of rain, so that always helps because there's no dust about. But yeah, so he was really good. I only filmed a little bit of it because um, I wasn't planning on riding him, but I was super happy with him. So at least we've ended on a positive. So that is everything that I did today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it. A massive thank you to Horse Hoods for sending me all the amazing items. I honestly can't believe I'm so lucky that companies want to work with me um, and I'm so privileged. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you to everyone who has been watching my videos for years or has, you know, just started watching me during lockdown. I will continue to provide daily videos for you in lockdown as long as I can. Um, I am really enjoying it. So thank you all for your support. And please, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon so you get a notification every time I post because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it, guys. So thanks for watching and I will see you all tomorrow at 12. Bye, guys.